welcome back to my channel today begins the first episode of my cooking series so as you can tell i have a cute little apron that i got from walmart and it's about to go down in the kitchen make sure you grab your wine subscribe comment share we're going to cook some fish fillet today rice and peas macaroni and cookies chocolate chip cookies so I figured I'll show you guys a very clear view of the ingredients that I'm using. This is for the rice and peas. This is allspice, thyme, fresh thyme, red kidney beans for the peas, coconut milk, accent, creole seasoning, fish fry, because that's what we'll be making. The only ingredients that is for the rice and peas is the coconut milk, allspice, thyme, and red kidney beans, alongside, um, what is it called? Green onion, and scallion. And then for this, this is for the fish filet. So come, come, come girl, let's go in the kitchen and get to cooking. Wash my hands before cooking. So we're about to get in and wash. So right now, behind me in that pot right there, I have some water boiling for the macaroni. So what you'll need is some tilapia filet. I got mine from Publix. So what I'm gonna do now is basically clean the fish. And I like to clean my fish with lemon. I actually like to clean my seafood, period, with lemon. So I have some lemons right here that I will be cutting and squeezing onto my tilapia. So I'm gonna put my tilapia in this bowl. I usually just, since I have four, I'm just gonna do like three slices to clean it. I just squeeze it. Now, we need some eggs, so I use these type of eggs today. So I'm just gonna break that. I'm just going to mix it up. So right here, I have my tilapia already prepped cleans with lemon and I'm going to dip it in some egg right here and then after that I'm going to dip it in my seasoning which is right here this is the New Orleans seasoned fish fry so I'm just going to cut this open okay. to do is grab my seasoning and put it in a bowl so today I'm using complete seasoning Creole this is Tony's and this is Accent. Make sure you get all in there, girlies. So, I went to Walmart today and I decided to go get me an apron. I went grocery shopping today and I decided that these aprons would be like a cute addition to my cooking series. And I feel like you guys are really going to enjoy it and learn some, some cooking tips from me. Cheers. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. So I'm going to I'm going to start dipping my tilapia in here. Get that coated really nice. And dip it in here. This oil is nice and ready, prepped. 
I had to turn it down a little bit. I'd be scared of this oil. <laughs> so we're about to put it in. You have to make sure your oil is piping, piping hot. We're going to let that cook in there real nice. The pasta has already began its process of boiling. It should be ready by now. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to start the rice and peas. So now I am about to put my coconut milk and begin my rice and peas process. So be sure to get Grace for the best tasting experience. I wouldn't recommend anything else. This is the only thing that I use when I make my rice and peas. So we're about to put this right in a pot right now. I think hopefully this is the right can opener. Okay, it is. I'm just gonna open this up. I usually use half. You have to start before you put anything inside of this pot. You have to put your coconut milk first. So I'm gonna put about half. That's good. Then I'm going to let the coconut milk boil. Let's see how the tilapia is doing. Tilapia is looking pretty good. How the tilapia is looking so far. I don't want to burn myself, but it's looking pretty good. I'm going to let it cook a little bit more, a little bit longer in this pot. thing is piping hot i'm pretty sure y'all like wait why this girl putting the drainer inside the pot but literally y'all know that's how you're supposed to use it i got this container from walmart publix so before i put my pasta in here what i like to do is i like to put um some butter so that way the pasta won't stick napkin and then smear it all over the pot so I'll smear it just like this just continue to smear all of this in spatula I have some in the bottom that's stuck, so I'm going to take some out. Okay, start to mix it around in there. This is so it won't stick. to put one more egg just because of the amount of macaroni that I have. So I'll put one more egg in here. So I use a total of two eggs, ladies, for my serving size. Y'all don't be stealing my ingredients. It's because I like y'all. Y'all get to see my ingredients where I'm at. But this is between Beauty Crew.
is mild cheddar. Do you guys want to see me? I haven't been showing my face. If you guys wanted to see me, you just could have just told me. And I could have showed you guys me. Because I don't want to see me. So. Please excuse my bra. I was not paying attention. But the cheese that I'm adding is Monterey, Colby Jack, Sharp Cheddar, Mild Cheddar. I'll also leave this in the description below. And this is my beloved mother's recipe for the mac and cheese for the broth and we're gonna mix this all in and this is basically like the first coating of the macaroni so you know we're gonna make this really pretty it's going to be very pretty the mac and cheese recipe is only for my beauty ASMR So now I'm about to get my mittens and put it in the oven Your oven mittens You don't want to have any scars on your bodies ladies You can't do it, it's not cute But y'all I'm really feeling my apron Here's a close-up of how the coconut milk should look. It should be boiling just like this. So right now I'm about to add my allspice in here. And also I'm going to add my scallion. So I'll show you the process of that. Your peas. I didn't add it yet because peas are like already cooked. So we're just going to add this when the rice is like almost done. Probably like about 80% done. Green onion. So this is what green onion looks like if you guys don't know what it looks like. So in the Jamaican household, we call this scallion. And I'm just going to take literally one of these. This is the time, this is the awesome. Jasmine rice. The rice is looking good. It's looking nice. When you're cooking rice, don't touch the rice. Leave it alone. Hey beauties, I am back. We're about to add the Goya beans inside the pot with the rice and pea. We don't have any peas in there yet. And we're missing the peas. So, let's zoom in here. The tilapia is done, you guys. So, we're about to put it in. Take it out. Put it in over there. My Winster slices. I get these in slices. No particular reason. I just get slices sometimes. Sometimes I get the little blocks. Sometimes. Jerome, please excuse me. I was raised in a Jamaican household and you know my pr pronunciation is a little bit off. Don't put too much lorries because it's cheese. Oh, let's see how that do. But this more than likely the grand finale. I'm trying not to make too much mess. 
bad. Hey beauties, so rice and peas is done. I added the peas inside and I added scotch bonnet pepper. Macaroni is finished. Tilapia is finished. Now I'm just going to be making some dessert. So nine minutes for the cookies. Let's get this these cookies out the oven. We're going to let these cookies cool on this cooling rack. I got this cooling rack from Walmart. So the cookies looking good, nice and soft. So we're gonna let this cool for about like, I don't know how long, I think like 10 minutes. They looking scrumptious. Here is the end result. I love my plate, it is so delicious. The macaroni is nice and cheesy. I have my lip gloss on my little thing, but you know, it's fine. Here's presentation. Mm, well seasoned macaroni. As expected, nice and cheesy. See that cheese? Take a bite. Hey, look. If you use my recipe, you're gonna love it. You'll love it here. If you're underage, do not drink. That's what I'm doing. 21 and up. But, you guys, thank you for watching my video. I really enjoyed making this video. This is like, I forgot to turn the oven off. I've been working so hard. But, everything takes spectacular. I've been making this for a very long time. The scotch bonnet pepper makes it extremely good. Everything's perfect. Mm. Super tasty. Let me know if you tried my recipe, how it tastes for you. Let me know if y'all feel tired after y'all cook. Cause I be feeling tired after I cook. I be losing my appetite <laughs> after I'm done cooking, which is so strange, but and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Thank you for watching this video. Cheers to more life, more blessings, happiness, joy, peace, self-love journey. Ding, 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 ding.